Hi and welcome back to Media Explorers and today I'm on Moorcott Tunnel which is on the Great Northern and London North West Railway or was I should say so what we're going to do we're going to go you can see it there behind me in the portal this is the southern portal so what we're going to do is go down there have a look in the tunnel see what we can see quite a good one this because it's been a bit of an adventure to get here so I hope you enjoy this right there we've climbed about three quarters of the way down the bankment now see the tunnel there right in front of us so uh, let's see if I get a bit there we go so you can see there so I say this is a southern portal so trains building on this way towards London and that way is north so we're gonna get through uh, these nice brambles and then uh, we're going in from there so it's the portal absolutely very, very overgrown, but in very good condition, by the looks of things. So I've just got to fight through the rest of this undergrowth, which is strewn with rubble and a bit waterlogged as well, I think. And then I'm going to try and get in there. So after a battle torn way to get in this is basically a bog all the way back there have fallen have soaked my feet my arm my back my pants everything we're finally inside this bit is like a lake this end and then we're looking down the tunnel you can hear the water there we go more cop tunnel Whew. lovely echo to it Right, I'm going to walk a bit further on where it's a bit drier and then we'll film a bit more of it as we go along. I hope I just don't find a drainage channel or something. That'd be fun. So, you see it's absolutely waterlogged down here. I dread to think what it'll be like after rain. Well, it's cool down here. It is absolutely red hot outside. And I would say it's about 20 degrees cooler in here. So I'm gonna get the torches out. Now we can film this. So it's there, there. See, clear down this side is a bit drier. This side is a lake. For, the, for fans of the channel, yes, I have been in it. Arm first. Wasn't funny. And that ends up too waterlogged. That's the southern portal. So there's no um, refuges on this at all. Some bits left though, so we'll uh, have a look through, see what we can find. And instantly, on some hangers there. That's the hangers. They're in great condition considering they've been here a long time. Now we got to a bit further in. Wow, this is a big old tunnel. Sort of egg egg shaped is the best way to put it, isn't it? Now with this, they, they sunk four shafts down through the, the farmer's land and there's no sign of those shafts now. Apparently when they bricked it over, they did completely brick it over. So you don't actually see anything of it. And then they paid him £35 a year for his inconvenience. Which is mad. A lot of money, £35. Right, let's have a look here. Finally it's drying out. So you can see here the... Uh, truck bed there. Great condition, no graffiti, which makes a nice change. There we go, look at that. These are fairly new actually. Ah, we got some more hangers. Look at those. They're great, aren't they? 
great condition as well, considering they've been sat down here since I think it was 1966. It closed. I'll check in a moment. I've got some details. So let's have a look. Right, so Morcott Tunnel opened 1851 and finally closed in 1966. I think it was the 6th of June from memory. It's 448 yards long. And uh, believe it or not, British Rail tried to sell it to a private company in the 80s as a, a bespoke nuclear air raid shelter, which would cost you £2,000 each to enter. Don't know why, where they got that figure from, because there wouldn't be much to go back out to. And we've got the hangers. Are there hangers again? Hangers here. They're really nice. They're actually, considering how damp it is down here at the minute, and we are in the middle of a drought, it's about the second hottest day of the year today. There we go, beautiful. It's a lovely old tunnel, it's absolutely gorgeous inside. Totally unspoilt, no graffiti, I can see anyway. I'm walking this way. There's a fence halfway, apparently. For some reason. Don't know why that's there. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Oh, that's a that's a bit of crystal there. What's that? It's off um off track. There we go, look at those. Thrown to the side. Amazing. See all the salt off the bricks here. This is all salt come off the bricks, so where they've got damp effervescence, I think it's called. And it crumbles off and there's absolutely mountains of it down these sides. The other side's exactly the same, I seem to add. But if we can, as you can see over there, exactly the same. Oh, oh, hey, Coca-Cola. You can't go anywhere without seeing Coca-Cola. I can hear water running down here. So this is track bed now. This middle bit is absolutely lovely and dry, but uh, better than the other end, which I'm not looking forward to at all. Right, so this is continuing the tunnel. And then we've got, yeah, it's just all salt down here. This is just pure salt from the, from the bricks, effervescence in the bricks, which is absolutely crazy. Wow, it's much, much more picturesque this end. Wow, look at that. That is stunning. That is just stunning. Wow. It's got water dripping down off the, off the ceiling now. It's a proper track bed this end. A bit drier actually, but just look at that view, that is something else. That is something else. Wow. Looking straight through the drips. What? Absolutely gorgeous there. Oh, look at this effervescence here. Oh my God. Now that is just incredible. That is literally the salt out the bricks. Or effervescence out the bricks. Effervescence, effervescence. 
Wow. Wow, that has to be seen to be believed. I've never seen so much. It is literally, there's layers of it here. See the layers, that's just layers of salt. And we've got the same here as well. My God, that, is, that looks practically alien. That's absolutely crazy. We've got a bit of iron coming through this one as well. With that reddish tint all the way down here. Absolutely crazy. Look at that, that is mad. Absolutely mad. What's this in the middle? Just a container. Look at that, that is just crazy. Wow. Route. So we're in, there in the end again here. So this will be the northern portal we're approaching now. Wow, that is absolutely crazy. What a lovely tunnel that is, absolutely totally unspoilt. No silly graffiti or anything else. In immaculate condition all the way through. And there we go. Blocked off at this end. There we go, Moorcock Tunnel. That is one of my favourite tunnels I've done so far. A bit of a pain to get into, but my God, it's in great condition. It's gorgeous. See the soot up there still, all sorts. Absolutely lovely. What a result. Really nice tunnel. Right, so that was Moorcott Tunnel. Absolute beauty. One of my favourites so far, to be quite honest. Totally unspoiled, no graffiti at all and a really pleasant walk. Bit of a pain to get into, to be fair, because it was well flooded, but um, really, really nice. So as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the subscribers, all your new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Plenty more to come from many, many different railways and also different buildings we're gonna do in the future as well. So uh, again, thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. Take care, bye.